Hello, I am Hernan Hernandez and I will be discussing and explaining the Pathco theory to y'all today. It was developed by Robert House in the early 1970s. Mr. Robert House used elements from the Ohio State Leadership Studies to use to develop his Pathco theory. In his Pathco theory, Robert House explains that it is the leader's job to provide their followers with the information support and other resources necessary to achieve their goals. The Pathco theory of leadership describes the way that leaders encourage and support their followers in achieving set goals by making the path towards those goals clearer or perhaps easier to the followers. For example, the leaders can clarify the path so their followers know which way they should go. Leaders could also remove roadblocks that are stopping their followers from going through that path and they could increase rewards along the route. Leaders can take a strong or a limited approach in all of these examples. While clarifying the path, they may either be direct or give vague hints every now and then. In removing roadblocks, they may clear the path altogether or just help the follower by moving the bigger blocks. If they choose to reward their followers, they may give an occasional encouragement or pave the way with gold. The Pathco theory is used by everyday leaders in our daily lives. For example, a teacher who is a leader to her students can hand out a test review that covers all the material on an upcoming test. By doing so, the teacher is clarifying, so to speak, the path for her followers. Every father wants his son or daughter to be the best player on the team. Here, the father is the leader and he is willing to do whatever it takes for his child to reach this goal. The father decides he will mow the lawn every weekend so his son or daughter can practice out on the yard every day. Here the father is removing a roadblock for his follower. A situation where a student makes an A on his test and is then taken out to dinner by his parents is considered a reward. The leaders in this case, which are the parents, reward their follower by taking him out because he achieved his goal of a good grade on the test. Now that I have explained the path goal theory and given a few examples to how they work in our daily lives, I will tell you all about the impact the theory has, or in other words, the outcome. Our book tells us that the testing of this theory has not been easy. Reviews have been mixed and the feedback they have provided. Some evidence tells us that removing obstacles, or as I described them earlier, removing roadblocks is a component of effective leadership while other evidence tells us otherwise. When it came down to goal setting, research found workers related to higher levels of performance only when the supervisors set goals and defined roles, responsibilities, and priorities. Other research found that goal-focused leadership can lead to higher levels of emotional exhaustion. I personally believe that the path goal theory would work when it is put to use I believe as a follower that if my leader were to clearly state to me what my exact goal is or tell me the exact job I had to do, I would be able to complete it more effectively. I prefer this than to waste time and effort on having to think and figure out exactly what to do or what my goal is and then have to complete the task or achieve that goal. I also believe that if the leader of my organization were to help me by removing some of the roadblocks I encounter on the path to achieving my goals, I'd be grateful and want to complete the task. I also believe that using rewards as a feedback for a good job is a good thing. Everyone likes to be recognized when they've accomplished the goal. This theory is important to managers because they are considered leaders in their organizations and this theory could help them motivate their followers to achieve their goals. As students and employees, we are trying to become leaders, and the path goal theory could be practiced by an employee in order to become a leader one day. Just remember, the path goal theory could be the first step in your path to achieve your goal.